we take care of athletes on, on all levels, starting in um, youth sports, high school athletics. Uh, we had some semi-professional teams here for a while with the Steel Hounds hockey and the Mahoning Valley Thunder, but we also see a fair number of recreational athletes of all ages, just people trying to stay active. Surgery is a part of a lot of the things that we do, um, but the same type of ideals also extend to the non-operative type treatment, whether it be bracing somebody or putting them through early rehab or even some of the other modalities we can do with restricted blood flow and uh, accompanying that with physical therapy. It's just helping patients, I think, to get back to full function, whatever that might be for them at a faster rate. I would say that biology is one area where there's been a lot of advancements over the past five to ten years. Prior to that, the focus in orthopedic surgical procedures was often on biomechanics. You know, what is the strongest anchor or the strongest plate and screw device to fix the problem you were dealing with? Now we're beginning to think more like scientists about what makes things heal faster on a microscopic level, on a cellular level. So some of the buzzwords that are out there include platelet gel therapy or stem cell therapy. These are cellular concoctions or cellular remedies that um, you can place into a site of injury, either non-operatively or at the time of surgery to make the tissues heal faster and more predictably. We try to treat things when they are surgical uh, from usually an arthroscopic uh, type treatment of tiny incisions with a little camera to go in um, and doing things through a minimally invasive or an arthroscopic type of uh, means of surgery allows us to obviously um, do things in a more efficient manner, less incision, which means less uh, of an impact on the patient and uh, oftentimes an easier recovery. Uh, but I also think that it makes us more accurate just because we're looking at things with a, uh, a camera that is magnified to be able to see a little bit more clearly or in better definition than we could with our own eyes. Another area of advancement would be robotic surgery. Robotics was introduced originally with hip and knee replacement procedures, but it's now being applied to shoulder replacement, for example, which is one of the procedures I perform more frequently. And I would say that within the next five years, we will see a lot of the shoulder replacement procedures performed with robotic assistance. I think that that same technology will be applied to knee ligament reconstruction in athletes as well. Uh, it's just an added way to improve precision and accuracy of what we do.